What's up, Two Steppers? It's your friendly country dance pro, Brian B. And Miss Megan. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the pretzel. Now, there is one prerequisite to this video, is that you have to understand how to dance a basket whip to be able to access how we're gonna enter your pretzel move. We're also gonna give you two different exits to your pretzel. So let's get rolling. All right, so if you don't know this basket whip, there's gonna be a video linked in the corner to teach you how to get to this position. But provided you can get to this position, let's talk about the pretzel. So this is what it's gonna look like without footwork. This hand is going over, I'm dropping the right hand, and we are gonna to get to our pretzel position, right? So if we unwind Miss Megan all the way around, I want you to think about two things. And we're gonna talk about the followers turn in a second, but I wanna make sure the arms are in uh, good order first. So leaders, the left hand is actually the one leading the turn all the way around, right? This hand here creates the pretzel. So what's gonna happen? We'll wind Megan all the way back in. As I'm leading this hand, I want to be able to drop the right hand, right? So this hand is gonna go down before it comes up, right? And we've learned over the years that leaders have a tendency to sometimes turn it there and followers, when they understand the pretzel's coming, like you're watching this video and learning it together, that the followers wanna put their arm right there. And I don't want you to do that. I'll show you, I'm a professional, don't do this at home. If you put it right there, either one of us, it becomes a problematic thing. So anytime in a pretzel, I wanna drop this hand and let the other hand roll in until we get to this position. So let's look at that all the way through. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now we're leading the outside turn for quick, quick, slow, slow to get to that position. Megan, is there anything you think about in that transition from the basket whip? Quick, quick, slow, slow. So right here, I am making sure, as Brian says, that I don't put that arm too high. Quick, slow, slow. I'm making sure that I follow this hand in my turn, and I'm just letting this one gently come up and down. So Start leaders, down. one of the problems we're gonna have is sometimes this hand gets trapped out. I wanna make sure I finish this hand so I create myself a window. Now I'm gonna do this back too so you can see just the pretzel part. So from here, we're both walking forward for quick, we're gonna to start to switch spaces on the quick. We're gonna step across ourselves on the slow, and I'm gonna step back on the slow. So let's do that again from this side. We have a quick, quick, slow, slow. Now leaders, you can also think, this is how you know you're good, you can just head back in and out of this position. Leaders, as I, I create this space, I'll let you see this sideways, I take this arm up and around to create space for myself through here, right? So we both go through, I'm also using this hand to make sure that Megan goes forward for quick. Now, to make sure she goes across, if I clear my head, as I start to take this hand this direction, I can get her to cross her feet and that's where we slide. I let this left hand come down. Now I should have some space to take this over on slow to the second slow, and I'm ready to lead my pattern. Let's look at it in context of the move. Quick, quick, slow, we step back. Quick, quick, slow, set up the turn. Quick, quick, slow, step in my window. I start going through right away. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Now from here, leaders, this is my direction of travel. I need to start moving through this space to lead an outside turn again for the followers with my right hand, a quick, quick, slow, and we can end this two different ways. We're gonna take this through for slow with both hands so I can use the left hand to lead an inside turn. So that's exit number one. All right, so I promised you a second different exit to this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. When I get to this position, I'm not gonna keep the right hand. I'm gonna dance through a weave and Megan likes this exit the best because she thinks it's the easiest. So let's talk about how we do the weave. Quick, quick, slow, slow. We get through the outside turn. Quick, quick, slow, slow. From here, we don't have to worry about the pretzel part. We've just got into this hammer lock and I'm gonna lead Megan forward as I go forward for quick, quick. Now from here, we're gonna take the slow down line and turn to face our partners. Now, depending upon which angle I set for my feet is gonna tell Miss Megan which direction she's gonna follow on. So if we step the first step slow and I create an angle, I'm gonna check her back here. If you wanna understand more about this hand, we've got a video over here. And then we're gonna lead an inside turn. Quick, quick, slow, slow. More or less the follower will end up in front of you and you'll continue with your basic. I hope you enjoyed learning the pretzel for country two-step. If you wanna learn a cool pattern from the pretzel into arm catches, you can do that in this video. And if you haven't yet, head on over to Country Dance Online. It's like Netflix for country dancers. Enter your email address on the first page. We'll give you a couple of free gifts and a free membership to our site.